This is where I'm... Oh. Oh, is that way? Well, then I'm going the opposite way. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more The Outer Worlds. Welcome back, Captain. Let's talk Captain about Sam. What is Sam? Who is Sam? What is that? Yeah, know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the Genesis closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. I mean, I might have missed around with the computer. See you soon, Captain. I might have read about it by accident. I th I think I'm, I read about it by accident, but but you know I can always read it again. Uh no, search term same. First same result. So don't forget you found a Discord as an invitation and maintenance on the mechanical and the emerald veil. Scrap your hair heap during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Uh, removal of factory standard part SUDS steeper was success successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part as steeper has been delayed. Progress at back estimated now to be the solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. Okay, and third one. Giving up hope and delivery, the part is lost in transit and is not turning up anytime soon. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal that knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of the asset steeper. I can uh, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following the next pit stop. Back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Aha. Uh -huh. Level 8 though. Right, let's see. What can I upgrade? Or rather, what should I upgrade? Don't really use this that much, but you know, it never hurts. I'm just gonna put all my points almost into that and then two into that and then one into dialogue. Why you may I ask? Because I want to be better. And perks. Uh what else can I pick here? Oh let's see, damage when alone, tactical time, uh Additional ammo, base armor, companion critical chance, bit of sprint speed, walk speed. But all, all of them are kind of good. It lasts longer. That could actually be useful. And the prizes I don't need to mess around with. Maybe a five base armor rating could be useful, but not really. Weapon and armor durability loss. Uh, God damn it. Sure, give me this. I want it to last longer. The cleaning machine, the empty man. Security to my car break, I find the acid steeper. Well, that's great. Let's go see if we can find it somewhere. This is where we were before, right? So this is where we want to go technically, but I want to go to other places first. Let's go to Skilla. I don't know what that is. Anything else? Like some place I can go? Nope. Go to the landing pad, I guess. Destination reached. Scylla. Oh, Scylla. Okay, that's what it's called. It's an asteroid. <laughs> Why did I go here again? Tell me about this place. Welcome back, Captain. What is this? How can I be of assistance? Tell me about this place, please. Uh, I'd like to continue our conversation from before. What? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. 
discombobulated. Topic on your mind? That's, that's a word. Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? No, I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. My goodness, you know, you know, if if I ever cry, I'm just gonna say, nah, it's just a glitch in the matrix. Uh, it's it, it's it's nothing else. I mean, it was my fault he died. You say, um. Wondering how he improved your design. How so? I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. I mean, it was a douche anyway, from what I knew. Why did you do that then? He asked me to trust him. Okay, but how exactly did he improve your design? Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. That's scary. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. That seems so unnecessary. The concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. So, where did you come from originally? The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator, created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. I mean, okay. I'm guessing it's Wells who did. Why? Because he's crazy. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, let's just go with these people. I still don't know what Scylla has to offer, but let's just check it out and see what people say. Oh my goodness. Real space, isn't it? Empty, silent. Never thought I'd see the light. I I'd look up at night, but... Can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe in a loose rock here. So what is this supposed to like be? Anyone home? Oh, that just doesn't look safe. Maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> that is very cool looking as well. So let's say I'm here and I want to go down. Who, who is here to like stop me from doing anything? Ouch. <laughs> Any people here? Is it just like abandoned place? Outlaw striker, huh? What? Oh, you do. That's funny. They come small. You shoot. Oh, well done. We're still alive. Well, I kind of did horribly. I, I just kind of wanted to test my gun. But I'm, I'm happy that you're not angry at me. Take that. Anything else? There's this thingy. Captain's Rock Independent Freighter. Cat's Meow. Scanners caught movement in the Freighter's Casilla. Haven't seen anything since. Okay. You know what? I'll I'll return sometime. Uh, I just kind of want to do all the other missions first, at least go through the the other area first, and then do stuff. Because I'm sure I'm gonna get over here anyway at some point. I kind of just have a feeling.
Don't look at me like that. I'm sorry that I brought you guys out here just to get back in the ship. You, you, get, you get back out soon. Okay, let's go over to where we're actually supposed to go. To Groundbreaker. A lot of fuel just waited. Oh, wasted. Captain, you're free to disembark. Thank you. That's cool. You've got a minute. Sure. What do you want? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Uh, yeah. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her, if you got time to swing us by. I mean, I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. I mean, sure, we can head over there right now if you want. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No, no, no not really. Like it's cool. Yeah, I don't mind that you need something else. I'll, I'll do my best to return. I can't promise that I'll return, but I will try to return at least. Uh, y y wait, you're not one of the people, are you? Taking my ship? Wait, let me just, let me just do this. Let me just... Oh no, you lost some cargo. I, want, I wonder why it went. You should look for the, the person who took it. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Well, th thank you. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Well, well now you can. You know, you can repeat all you want. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. You a jerk. Lady, what was that all about? Just arrived. Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. All right, Felix. What about you? Going for a stroll around the docking base? I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I mean... I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolve your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. I mean, he can because of that. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Well, it sounds like you're better off on your own anyway. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Imagine me wasting my life loading boxes, unloading boxes, watching the ships roll in and take off. I mean, that sounds pretty cool hey, to me, to be honest. For nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Uh, no, that's... that's oh, I just, I just went to look at it. It's, um... I mean, th that's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Well, I never called your name. I'm, I'm Bro. Well, Ben Bro. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, see you around, Felix. See you around, boss. Boss? Wait. Oh, they don't flatter me now. <laughs> he called me boss. Kind of cool. Oh, hello. Oh. Steve Adore. Keep your eyes to yourself, you might. Nobody wants you looking. You're not gonna say anything? Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. Oh my goodness, you can you guys be any more annoying? 
Are you just gonna stand there and let me steal stuff? I mean, if you want, then um, it's cool with me. Just casually get this if I can. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Well, this doesn't matter anyway. Aha! Hello! If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. I mean, that's probably true. Can't steal any here. God damn it. Guys, not making this easy for me. Those are some bypass stuff, huh? Mechanicals all over. They still got us sweating to move boxes. Is this where I'm oh. oh, is that way? Well, then I'm going the opposite way. So far as you know, I'm not drinking on duty. Wow, I'm gonna shoot you, you know that? Can I, can I still like, kill someone? I wanna. Please let me. So are you the dude I'm supposed to talk to to kind of get access to everything? I'm I'm here. Identification, please. Uh, my name is Ben Bro. It's my first time here. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. Oh, that's great. Thank you. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Probably. But how do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Can I kill him? His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. It shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. You didn't need my ID anyway. Like, I didn't give you my... I, I just kind of told you who I was, and you were just kind of... It's, it's, you know... Uh, okay. An idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why... You must have riled up someone important. The only one I riled up was Reed. Great, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out then. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Uh, sure, what is it? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, uh her, her shipment? A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Okay, got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? I mean, I, 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 mean, I was looking for someone named Cladis. No offense. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Ah, okay. And uh, I'm looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. All right, got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. So, uh, can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Now I'm looking for something a little more, um, uh, you know, local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, Okay, not that's, that's, that's what I'm looking for. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Uh, 
uh, got it. Thanks. Happy to help. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. Can we move this along? I have a certain uh, matter I'd like to attend to, Captain. Well, how does Halcyon Holdings work, anyway? Are you pulling my leg? I'm new around here. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off states in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. So they're pretty much just a bunch of people who bought the stuff. Okay, the board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. And they can still stop me like from flying away. The board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. And how does Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before, her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Oh, that's pretty neat. Uh, so there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these company heads in it? Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Got it. Glad to help. I didn't think there were so many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. And what do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. Okay, that's not good. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. I'm gonna go straight to them. All right, that's all I need to know. All right. Uh, what are you gonna tell me about? I need more stuff to know, by the way. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Uh, I only said that because, you know, I'm changing the subject to, uh, to the Udom Bedford. And what can you tell me about uh, Udom Bedford? He's friendly yeah. enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sounds like a fun guy. Really likes his cereals, too. Maybe a little too much. Bit of a weird bird, all told. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. They're fun. Udon takes it to an uh, unhealthy level. Seems like there's some tension between the board and Groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? Um, yeah, you, you, you people won't stop yapping about it. It's, it's hard to miss. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. I mean, and yet your station's in a state of disrepair, you could make the board fix it. You mean the heat? Sure, we could make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. So in other words, you don't have any control are, over them. Maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? Maybe they would. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Uh, thanks for the info. Sure thing. See you around. Be seeing you. That is some useful information. Uh, medical stuff. Yes. Uh, is this the place? Is this where I go? No, that's restricted access. I, I, I cannot enter that area. That, that's bad. That's very bad. Is 
I know X enter that place can. I still haven't shown in my card. Are you sure you don't need my card, dude? Can I just do this? Rivals, freelancer, unreliable business, unknown, impounded Hawthorne ship, but no Hawthorne. Wonder what happened there. What? The Departures, freelancer, space is choice fighter. Messages, security, these conditions, unfit for sixty pictures, you sign the social contract where you gave me the clearance to land. Um, room and breathe. Uh, I'll give you until hits to send in. Okay. Hey, I landed like 15 minutes ago and this crazy guy with no shoes has been throwing shit at my rig. Like actual shit, can I open fire or what? Hello! Hey. If caught inside, you'll be shot on sight using a disguise to prevent immediate hostility. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew cha- I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Oh boy, that can be tough. I'm gonna try to talk to them first. Hello! Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. I'm new. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? You know, I, I kind of, you know, I, I'm just getting my bearings. What do you do here? This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. Anymore? Why can't you take incident reports? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Seven times? Well, folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Do you? I, I, I don't know. To us or something? We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, it's not, we just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. Ah, okay. Any chance you'll change your mind, bribe? All oh, right, I, I've got to pay the filing fee. That was um, 830 bits. I told you, I'm not allowed to file stuff anymore. Dude. I'm trying to pay you a bribe, Lee. Will 830 bits do it? Oh, right. Uh, okay. Uh, mind you don't touch nothing. Fees or no, the other Mardettes won't take it kindly. Aha! There was a person right beside you where I bribed you. Uh, maybe that's not the best idea. Hello. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. What bounties do you have available? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Hours? The posting, that is. Not the oh, 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 okay. I was like, okay, I wouldn't uh, kill a baby. Allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, Failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Did they kill anyone? Assaulting two officers? Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. Ooh. McRed's lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor dies, I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded. Thinking he won't like that one bit. I mean, I wouldn't like it. Flying under the influence of illegal substances. Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Huh. In the leads on where I might find Megret? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Oh my goodness. Sure, I'll take the posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Well, thank you. So what's it like working security detail in the space station? 
Do I look like your gossipy best friend? Yes. While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. God damn it. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? I was, it was just a question. Well, all right, just trying to make conversation. I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving before I see you moved. I'll, I'll kill you. Well, what am Mada? My dead. We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. My, my dead. Started back before the crossing, you know. Uh, why am I dead and not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardets because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Ah, okay, I see. Well, I'll be on my way then. And I will also have to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, search for 8000. Click the subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.